Greetings, my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Wednesday message, guys. It has been an unbelievable week. I saw most of you on my Instagram live. If you're not following me on Instagram, why? Why not? All right, so follow me on Insta. Exciting stuff the team puts up there. I do an Instagram live every Sunday at 8 p.m. Malaysian time. And I put it in my grid so you can watch it later if you can't be there at 8 p.m. sharp. Uh, week 16, been blessed. I spent the whole Friday afternoon and evening with the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. So I am charged up, switched on to a crazy level. All right. Uh, super excited about 2023. Uh, it's 5.20 in the morning. I'm about to go to the airport to fly, fly to one of my favorite cities in the world, Bangkok. Spending time with all of the warriors of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay and my brother J.R. Meyer. All right, guys. Um, before I start my Wednesday message, uh, I just have an important message to all of you guys. If you're not aware, Sudan is going through a tremendous turmoil, almost a civil war between two factions. And uh, that was the first country I ever landed in Africa when Dato Sri Vijay told me to fly there. That, that's when I met my brother, V partner Adli, and so many of the leaders. So to all my brothers and sisters in Sudan, who are watching this Wednesday message, my prayers and love are with you. Please stay safe. I pray for the safety of yourself, your family, your team members. All right. I just spoke to V partner Adli. He's doing okay, but he's describing to me how scary the situation is. So we love you. All right. Please stay safe. Our love and prayers are with you. And uh, today, just as I switched on the record button on my iPad to record this Wednesday message, suddenly something clicked. Right, it clicked that I remember the first time I sat down or the first lesson uh, that Dato Sri Vijay taught me, the very first lesson that Dato Sri Vijay taught you. I want to talk about it today in my Wednesday message. I really want to. All right, is something whether you're brand new watching me for the first time, whether you've been around for a long time. I've been doing these Wednesday messages for almost 10 years. Unbelievable, guys. Thank you for all your support. Um, if you don't know who I am and you're watching this video by some form of accident, my name is Patman Senati Raja. I am your upline. I am your chief. I represent two of the greatest networkers in the world, Japanese Bismarck, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran, our founders. And I represent one of the greatest organizations, the V and the most rocking, most unbelievable, fastest growing e-commerce network marketing company in the world, QNET, guys. All right. So... Uh, this Wednesday message, I want to talk about the first lesson. I remember sitting down and listening to that story of empty your cup. And I made a video and a lot of people want me to make a new video. I will, I promise you. Uh, sometime this month, I'll get into the studio. That lesson of empty your cup, Master Suzuki pouring the tea, the tea overflowing, all right, and the student getting upset. And the lesson is empty your cup. Now, a lot of people feel that it's a very basic approach on your journey of network marketing, that you just have to empty your cup, learn the comp plan, understand the company, okay, understand that now I'm an entrepreneur, but please wake up, smell the coffee, all right? Emptying your cup is a lifelong process. It's a process that I do almost every single day. It's a process that requires tremendous humility, requires you to overcome and win the battle over your number one enemy, yourself, your ego. And a lot of people misunderstand empty your cup. They think it's throwing away all their knowledge so that new knowledge can come in. That's only a fraction of what the meaning of empty your cup is. You see, ultimately empty your cup is for you to make a decision that you're willing to change, that you're willing to adapt, adjust, accommodate, that you're willing to do what is uncomfortable to achieve your goals and dreams. Emptying your cup is also the willingness to embrace and accept anyone and everyone right into your life, regardless whether you like them, dislike them, whether they piss you off, uh, whether they upset you. Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact, the fundamental aspect of emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that you are not where you could be in life. 
that your potential is limitless and you have chosen a life of limitation. Emptying your cup is to remove all the thought processes of status quo that you were born to go to work, come home, go to work, come home, go to work, come home and die broke. You have to throw that away from your cup that you have today something in your hands by the master plan that you're part of QNET, you're part of the V, that you have the potential to be a max out king or queen. Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that there can be no enemies because the enemy does not exist. You create that enemy out of some level of insecurity, fear, um, jealousy, anger, all right? Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that where you are now must consistently be the beginning. You must recognize the fact that whether your check is 250, 2,500, uh, 25,000, it doesn't matter. You must always tell yourself, this is just the beginning of my limitless journey, right? Emptying your cup is to do what is uncomfortable, like pushing yourself to do a presentation, even though when you are burnt out, fed up, you know, facing a lot of rejection and you don't know, even believe whether this works anymore. Emptying your cup is putting yourself in a situation where you can see the invisible and believe in the impossible. Emptying your cup is surrendering to somebody who is more knowledgeable than you, somebody more successful than you, a mentor, an upline. Emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that you have to remain grateful even to people from your past, even to people who helped you for one minute and then hurt you. It doesn't matter. You don't erase the fact that they have helped you. Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that you can no longer today as a networker remain selfish, that you have to be selfless, that there are downlines who depend on you every single day of your journey and you have to put yourself second and put their needs first, put your duty as an upline, all right, to serve them first, even before your own selfish needs and desire. Emptying your cup is waking up every morning and, and counting your blessings, all right, regardless of what you are or where you are in life today, there are no mistakes in the master plan and and you need to empty your cup and count your blessings no matter how small they are right emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that you are incapable of pushing yourself to achieve your true potential that you need to welcome like how i have welcomed dato cvj japa into my life to be my coach b to push me consistently all right, to the point where sometimes I grind my teeth, bite my tongue, but I shut up, listen and do because I know they're doing it out of love and care and they just want to see me succeed in life. Emptying your cup is recognizing the people around you who stood by you when you had nothing, who supported you even when they doubted QNET, your, your wife, your husband, your parents, your children, your, your, your loved ones. Emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that you have so much love to give, but you still choose to be stingy with it. You know, emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that the life you live is not only for yourself, but how you choose to live your life is the foundation, is the legacy that your children will stand on, your grandchildren will stand on, your great-grandchildren will stand on. Right? Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that no matter how much money you make, it does not define you. Your bank account, your car, your house, all these are nice things, but it does not define you. What defines you is what people will say at your funeral about you. What will define you is how you have lived your life and impacted other people positively. Emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that you're not just a networker in QNET, but you're part of a revolution of 
a life-changing force. That rhythm is just not a mantra. Emptying your cup is to recognize that rhythm is a DNA of Japa and Datu Sri Vijay that they are trying to instill in all of you every single day that you raise yourself then to help mankind. That after buying everything you desire, build a school, build a hospital, educate children, emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that maxing out one tracking center does not define you as a tremendous success when you could max out three tracking centers or five tracking centers. Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that your check is not the only defining moment of your success, but the checks of your downlines is a greater defining moment of your success. Emptying your cup is to recognize the fact that you cannot do this alone. You did not do this alone. Recognizing the fact that your, 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 your uplines, the great uplines, the we, the founders, they built you to who you are today. Emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that you need VCon, that you must be there by some form or another, because without VCon, you're nothing. Because every success story in QNET, that person or that man or woman was built by attending VCon, right? Attending ISB zone, attending the V events. And emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that you are now an entrepreneur, that if, if it is to be, it is up to me, that you stop blaming the world Emptying your cup is when you go on stage and thousands of people clap for you and cheer and say I love you and, and, and worship the ground you walk on. And remembering the story, I told you what Datu Sri taught me that you are just a man, you are just a woman. You are in this position today for a purpose greater than your own. So I guess we are human, so enjoy the accolades, enjoy the edification, but don't allow it to consume you. Never allow any form of success or recognition or edification to make your ego stronger. Emptying your cup, especially for the new guys watching me today, is to recognize the fact that you are not here by accident. That there are no mistakes in the master plan. That from the time your name was on somebody's list, from the time the phone call was made, from the time you agreed to go to the presentation, from the time you said yes to the presentation, you sign up, bought a product, and now it is no accident. It is written so. It is your master plan. So don't waste this God-given opportunity for you to rise to reach your limitless potential. Emptying your cup is remembering the great lesson that Sri Vijay taught me, that you never stop being a student that you can learn from the greatest mentor, but you must also have the ability to learn from a rock if necessary. Emptying your cup is realizing that you can be better every day if you choose to do what you hate to do. Right? Because that was really defined to me what hard work is. He told me, Patman, hard work is doing what you don't like to do. What you like to do is not hard work. Emptying your cup is to recognize the day when you love what you do, it's no longer work, right? Emptying your cup is recognizing the fact that on this journey, from who you are today to one day becoming financially free will require you to fight as a warrior for your dreams, for the dreams of your downlines, right? Uh, for everything, just got to be a warrior. Emptying your cup is to give thanks every day for what you have and to pray that you will achieve what you want. Emptying your cup is never forgetting the people who are no longer around, who made you into who you are today. Remember them, speak to them, pray for them. Right guys, and, and this is what I mean by emptying your cup. It's not only about learning the eight basic building blocks and learning about this company, but it's a process of life. That every time I sit in front of this great man, Datu Sri Vijay, I empty my cup because I know I can learn, I know I can change, I can evolve. 
So the question you must ask every single moment, not once a day, but every moment, every time you get a chance for a moment, two seconds in the bathroom, two seconds walking to your car, two seconds before presentation, two seconds before training, two seconds before listening to your upline, two seconds before watching this Wednesday message or a video by Japa Datusri. Is, is your cup empty? And if you feel even slightly your cup is not empty, you know, take it out and empty it and say, I empty my cup and then listen. I say it in my mind when I sit with Dr. Sri Vijay, I straight away say, I empty my cup and I listen to him. Because that is the only way you will grow to reach your limitless potential. So I know my video of empty your cup is short and sweet, but I feel the definition of the first lesson, the greatest lesson I've learned from my mentor, Dr. Sri Vijay, is that if you ever aspire, if you ever dream of standing on stage as a V partner, max out king, max out queen, there's one thing you have to consistently do, repeatedly, every single chance you get is empty your cup. I love you guys.